Hey guys, how's it going? I thought I'd do a little video on my five favourite Ruger revolvers. Alright, so let's have a look at what my, my top five Ruger revolvers are. Alright, I've got a set of scales set up down here, but it's not going to be in camera view. So, I'll just... I'm not going to go into major details about each gun. I'm just showing my top five, but I've thought weight. I'll put in the weight of, of each of these guns. Alright, uh, the Ruger LCRX. This is really, this is the wife's carry gun. She loves to carry this thing, uh, mostly because it's it's very light and very very easy to use. And she likes the X. She likes the choice of having single action, you know, oh, as opposed to just double action. And a lot of people say, well, that hammer can get caught up on stuff, but. It's, it's holstered anyway, it's not loose, so I don't really go along with that. If you're pocket carrying and not on a holster, I can, I can see a problem, but but uh, this is, it's always holstered, so it's not, re not really an issue, I don't think. But, um, yeah, she likes it, but for me, my carry gun has to have at least six rounds in it. I mean you go back to the Wild West days I mean they even had six shooters then so relying on five rounds to me is a step backwards but you know that that's just me but um, I, I like the gun I've, you know I think they're kind of expensive for what they are but very very light so you've got all the you've got the old revolver reliability with modern um, materials to make it lightweight and the way the frame is set up it um, takes a lot of the recoil out but this is number five and let's do the weight on it obviously this is empty weight and that is 13.6 ounces um, I'm not going factory weight, I'm going reality weight, you know, straight on the scales here. 13.6 ounces, that's really, that's nothing, is it? Right, let's move on to the next one. Alright, we've got the, obviously Ruger, the Ruger Red Hawk. Oh, Super Red Hawk. Alaskan, so it's a snub-nosed 44 Magnum, six shot, so that meets my minimum criteria for carry or for self-defense. Um, obviously this thing is built for being able to take out bear and stuff like that, single and double action. Trigger's pretty good. I, I like Ruger triggers on their revolvers. They do seem to do a good trigger. Um, yeah, stainless steel, so obviously very versatile out in all weathers. The grip, the grip is awesome. Um, takes up a lot of recoil. So this is number four and it would rank higher maybe but I'm this is new to me I'm just getting used to it and to be honest um, the little bit that I've shot with it so far um, I'm, I'm not accurate enough with it <laughs> I gotta practice and I find that with some snubbies some snubbies um, I really I'm, I'm, I'm crap with them others I'm really good at so with this one <laughs> I'm not very good at the moment so I, I just got to practice on this before this goes up the uh, pecking order and if I don't get any better with it it'll stay at, it'll stay at number four 
Nope, almost forgot the weight. This is a bruiser. This is a hefty old gun. All right, it's coming in on the scales. It. What was that? Something fell down. Hang on, I've got to zero these scales. Two pound eleven point eight ounces. That's what it's saying. Two pound eleven point eight ounces for this this bruiser. Right, the new Vaquero. This is an awesome gun. This um, so this is number three. This is my third favorite Ruger. This is my first single action revolver ever and it's a Talo or Talo edition. Uh, it's awesome work. The, the detail on the wooden grips there, the polish on the stainless. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful beautiful gun. Love shooting this thing. This thing is awesome. Obviously single action only but uh, this is this is like fine-tuned <laughs> it's awesome gun highly if you've if you've ever sort of pondered about getting one of these just just go get one because it's an awesome awesome gun and if you keep it long enough which I don't think have to be too long because the price of these things keep going up it's it's better than money in the bank for sure uh, this this is an awesome gun let's weigh it in it weighs in at two pound ten point seven ounces so not a light gun but I when I'm out shooting with a rifle in the woods often often I'm carrying this it's very accurate it's um, just a great gun I love shooting it all right let's go to Number two on the list. Um, here's number two, the GP100, and this is an awesome gun. This was my first, yeah, my first Ruger revolver that I that I purchased, and this one's kept loaded because it's uh, part of. It's a gun that's uh, always handy, handy to pick up in the home. Um, don't really take it out as a truck gun, but it would make an awesome truck gun. Beautiful revolver. This, I think, is uh, destined to be a, a classic in the future, and it pretty much is a classic already. Um, fully adjustable sights. It, the, it's built like a I don't want to say a tank because it's not crude like a tank but it's certainly all the Ruger revolvers are built really good but the Jeep this one the the uh, GP 100 in particular is it's built solid for a, a 357 Magnum it's a it's an awesome gun and they've brought out the, the uh, another one in 44 not Magnum 44 Super. It's out in. I wish they'd done one in 44 Magnum. I'd, I'd have had to have that, but 44 Super. Um, I'm not so bothered about. It. But the weight of this and this one's loaded is two pound ten point nine, and this is loaded up with quite a quite a hefty 357 load. Okay, let's get on to my all-time favourite Ruger, and here it is. This is an awesome, awesome pistol. This is the the new model Super Blackhawk, and this is my number one Ruger, single action only, uh, but a great, great trigger. It's got an awesome trigger on it. And this thing, it's dirty because I, 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 I shoot it a lot. Um, this thing just sounds so great. The engineering in this is spot on. I, I can't find any, 
any fault with this gun at all. The sights, for me they were bang on from the factory, so I, I did have to turn them down, lower them down slightly, but beautiful little, beautiful revolver this. Um, awesome gun, grips are really nice, it just sits in the hand perfect for me, it really is perfect. And I'm, I'm a big fan of stainless steel, as you can tell. Four out of these five Rugers are stainless. And they'd all be stainless if it wasn't for the LCRX. That's the wife's gun, so I don't care about that one as much. But, um, yeah, awesome. Love this gun. Uh, like the Alaskan, it takes the big, heavy loads. Um, pretty much the biggest loads you can get for 44 Magnum these uh, this and the Alaskan will will take them no problem at all awesome gun <laughs> I keep saying that probably look stupid but yeah it's a great gun if you've ever wondered about this I, I would just go get one because they're great if you like single action I, I don't know of a better single action. Let's weigh it out. It's coming in at two pound twelve point six ounces. Um, but it's it's a heavy gun, but uh, it's five and a half inch barrel. Uh, but accuracy is awesome with this thing. There's some guys out there on YouTube shooting it incredible distances and you know with and I don't know of another handgun that's that's as accurate as this but if you do chime in on the uh, you know let us know what your favorite what your favorite revolvers are or your favorite Rugers I'd, I'd love to know that yeah anyway so that's my uh, that's my top five I mean, yours is probably going to be different. That's my top five Rugers, and I'm, I'm. It's not that I'm a Ruger nut. <laughs> I'm far from it. Um, it's just that when I when I decide I, I want a revolver and what caliber it's going to be in, I I look out there at all the competition, but Ruger I end up I end up choosing Ruger. They just seem to be better or oh, you know yeah stronger made better made and in my price range but if I find something else out there I'll that I want I, I will save and get it I believe in buying quality over you know buy once and it's cheaper um, I wouldn't recommend personally I, I wouldn't recommend Taurus I've had one Taurus and if you've seen my videos yeah you know that was a nightmare. But um I'm kinda keen on looking at the Kimber, the Kimber revolver. Yeah, it's a six shot, it's three fifty seven, it's stainless steel, so it <laughs> it meets my criteria. It doesn't have to be stainless steel but it's it's quite I, I like blue guns as well. And I like semi autos, I got my This is uh, my 9mm carry on a guard, and this is my 380 carry LCP, and this is on me every day. On a guard most days, but this every day, and as you can tell, all the, the fluff in there, <laughs> it's dirty. I end up picking the fluff out every now and then. and. As you can, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but that's not shine, that's, that's wear. Yeah, it's got some, I don't know what that is, <laughs> some, some crap that was in my pocket. But, <coughs> great pistol. Uh, reliable, good carry gun. Anyway, that's it for now. So, catch you later. If you haven't subscribed, consider it, it'll help me out a bit. And I'll see you on the next video. Alright, take care.
Be safe. Catch you later.